Good morning, everyone. It's another Monday morning that we have never seen before. December 25th, 2023. And you look outside and the morning is beautiful. And nature is glowing with the beauty of God's power. And His creative love in existence. And so as we read and as we experience that love this morning and throughout today, I pray that we will experience life overflowing as we rejoice in the goodness of God. Amen. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew 24, reading verses 4 to 12 and it goes as follows it says and jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you it says for many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many verse 6 and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Verse 7 says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places verse 8 all these are the beginning of sorrows oh wow verse 9 continues to say then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and he shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake verse 10 and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another verse 11 it says and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many and 12 and last and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold. And I say, Amen. God is God. And His word will and shall come to pass. This is a very profound reading that we are doing this morning. And as we consider these words, May we not slight them, but may we think about what the Lord is saying to us here. He says that we are living in the last days, right? And we are going to see and experience a lot of things, right? And I'm sure all of us can give a test to that, to, to, to that, right? The things that we see happening now in, in our lifetime, it's, it's out of this world. It's like evil has maximized tenfold. The devil is just on a rampage, right? And here God is advising and warning us and encouraging us that we must be careful not to be deceived right it says that what we will hear of wars rumors of wars aren't we seeing that look at what is taking place around the world look at all these countries that are involved in this 
in these major conflicts and war against their own people. Right? We shouldn't be warring against anybody. Right? Killing all these people. And for what? Greed and power? That makes no sense. But that's the world that we come to live in today. Man is all about themselves. They don't care about anybody else but themselves. And so the devil used that to destroy humanity. Right? Nations rising against nations. You know, person live in the same house and they are fighting against each other. Right? Children are so disobedient, unruly. It is just a crazy world that we are living in today. Right? And the Bible went on to say that this is just the beginning then if it's, this is just the beginning, what will the next phase be like? Friends, we got to keep our eyes open. We got to stay close to Jesus. Because this is a say that says, if we cannot run with the footmen, how can we then run with the horsemen? If in times like these, we are struggling and we are being deceived, how are we going to manage when they start to persecute us? When they start to, to withhold food from us? We can't buy and we can't sell all of these things. Right? What will we do then? But we have an assurance in God. He tells us in his word that look here. When that time come, I will take you under my wings. It's not that he's not have to want to take you under his wings now, you know. Don't get me wrong. But at that time, we are going to need him even more. And so he's encouraging us that don't worry. If you make the right decision now to follow me then you don't need to worry about the horseman experience because you would have already prepared yourself for that and i will give you the strength right in the time of trouble he will give his angel charge over us right today as we think about the reading this morning Right? Let us ask God to help us to walk in His way. Right? When you think about how people killing people just like you kill mosquito and flies. For those who know those kind of things. Right? It's like life means nothing. The heart is so cold and so numb right and they have no regards for who or what down to the common animals they kill without reservation they kill babies kill elderly people right all lives are important right and so we have to look at these things and understand that jesus is about to come Right? He says that when we see these signs, what we need to do? Look up for our redemption joy at night. And so friends, as we continue to look forward to that day when Jesus will come and put an end to all these things, may we continue to be faithful. May we continue to be true. And may we continue to show the world in spite of his craziness that God still loves and want to save them. Save all of us. That's why he came to die for our sins so that we can live with him eternally. And so may God continue to protect you, 
to preserve you, to strengthen you, and may you remain faithful until the very end. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day, and God bless you.